Good morning everybody. Welcome back to the Firefly Studio. Today I thought we would start a new project. This is going to be another series on journal making. It's been a while I think since we, um, we've, we've done a journal together so I thought it was time to start something. This one, <laughs> you, you're going to get some insight into how um, I create and Hopefully you'll pick up some things that you can use. You're probably going to think, wow, she's all over the place. This is just what works for me. I've taken numerous courses, guys. <clears throat> and from that, I've just taken bits from various um, ladies that I've studied under and come up with my own things. So I hope it's not going to be too difficult to follow. Um, and that you'll you'll get something from this that you can use going forward. So I don't know how many segments you know. I never know this when I start it. This actually <laughs> came about this morning. <laughs> that just shows you I've been in such a um, uh, just going through a really strange time right now with this move and everything. So I had the greatest little gift uh, this morning waiting in my inbox. Um, from Dawn, who is Vandal, the book Vandal Shop on Etsy. You guys are familiar with Dawn. She's got a YouTube channel. She does amazing work. But let me tell you, I had no idea she had started making digital kits. Um, I just can't keep up with everybody, unfortunately. And Dawn wrote me the sweetest message, and she said, Gina, I know you love bees. You probably don't need another kit, but um, she wanted me to have this kit. And i got to tell you guys, this might be my... Um, <laughs> this could very well end up being my all-time favorite. I'm going to be honest with you, um, and I have worked with some beautiful kits, and that's not a dig towards anybody because everybody's got a different style, and I appreciate that. Um, I know I totally appreciate grunge, um, I appreciate vintage, but everybody's got a different, you know, style, and uh, this one I'm not going <laughs> to. It's just incredible. So let's just look. I'm going to walk you through a few pages and then we're going to get started on the cover today. Um, and as I said, we'll just work until I, f I feel like it's enough and then we'll move on to um, the next. The remainder of it will have to be in other parts. But look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Very clean. Um, fresh and clean. And I classify this as a whimsical, which is very different to any of the other kits I've got. Now, um, the latest one I worked with was Calico Collage, and that's a very clean one as well, and that was a fun kit to work with. Um, I've worked with Artie Mays. Um, hers is beautiful, a bit more on the grunge side, but equally beautiful, but this is just a very different um, as I said, to me, I classify it as a whimsical, and that really, really appeals to me. Look at the bees. They're just gorgeous. Um, so I just wanted to share with you guys this kit, because this is what I'm going to be working with. That is fabulous. And I've got a element um, that we're going to make using this paper. I think it's going to look fantastic when we get to it. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about this one. Look at that honeycomb. Isn't that beautiful? As you can see, I loved this paper. I printed several of those. <laughs> um, but here's some more of the images. It is a fabulous kit, guys, and it's called Honey Blossom. And um, <clears throat> I think what I'll do, I'm going to put a link below the, uh, to the kit. That way, you guys, it'll be easy for you to find in the description box below. Um, if you do visit uh, Dawn's shop, do tell her that I uh, directed you that way because she did not, she told me, she said I have, she just wanted this to be a gift. She did not expect me to um, promote her, but I really like to um, return 
any favors. You know, I just think it's the right thing to do. And I wanted to share with you guys because it is gorgeous. And I know a lot of you are bee lovers as well. <laughs> you know who you are. So, um, so I did want to share that. And like I said, um, do tell her that uh, I sent you over that way. Look at this envelope. I love that. It's got the kind of a sagey mint green with the soft blush pink. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. So this really did um, spark today's project because I fell in love with that last um, bee journal that I did. And I was kind of itching to get back into it. But I don't know, something's just kind of... This week has been a struggle. I've been spending time um, doing other stuff, and so I think sometimes you got to have a break, and it, it definitely has recharged me. As soon as I saw this, I was like, oh, I know what I'm going to make. So let's just jump to, jump on in and get started, and like I said, um, take from this what you can, and uh, if you've got a better way, well, you just go roll on with it. So the first thing I've got is, you guys know, if you order books, I'm really into reading at the moment. Um, I've been ordering a massive amount of books, um, which is another reason my head's just been other places. The little things that, that your books come in, um, they're nice and sturdy. I'm just going to use this as the base um, because uh, my envelopes are dwindled down now to the a four by six, uh, well it ends up being a, like a four by six, so it's a nine by six envelope, and I knew with this kit I did not want to lose any of that design by cutting it down, so I just went ahead and, and have cut this out. Um, I'm going to keep, it's almost a two inch spine because I've got, like I said, some different thoughts on what's going to go into this. So. The base of this is going to be a 13 inch by 8 and a half because I know my pages are going to be about 5 and a quarter by 8 and a half. Um, and that will allow me <clears throat> a 1 inch spine so that I can add probably a single signature is my thinking, but I've got some little elements to go inside so let's just jump on in um, so I've got that cut down and I've got this uh, this was actually gifted to me from a really sweet uh, follower and um, so I am going to this is one of the samples that you can get from the um, interior des designers and decorators so isn't this pretty and I don't even know how what image is going to go on this I just know that I think this is going to be really pretty with those papers and I think this will make a really nice cover so the first thing I'm going to do and I've given this some thought <coughs> because my covers I tend to end up layering I'm a little concerned about losing this but I have decided in the end I want this on the front portion of the journal so I am going to stitch that so that that is going to end up on the front cover and I'm going to have to tweak this slightly because I want to make sure that comes over and I don't know if I'll fold that in and put it. I don't think I will. I think I'll just cut it and, and do a zigzag stitch. So I'm going to have that showing up on the front cover. That way I can layer over it, but it'll still be seen in the back is what I'm thinking. And then on the back, I'll end up with this nice bit of blue. And then I think I'll come back over that and maybe stitch a um, lace pocket or something. So I'm going to go with it. I hope I don't regret it because like I said, I had considered turning it around and having that on the back but I I think I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go with my gut on this. So what I'm going to do guys is go over to the machine um, I'm going to well actually I'll tell you what let me get some glue on this first and that way that can dry. Um, start with some Fabri-Tac and um,
That way this can get glued. I'll leave it to dry and then I'm going to take it to the machine and stitch around that. Once I've stitched it, then I'm going to trim it off. Um, And don't worry if, if any of this hangs over, because when I get done, you'll see how this is all going to get covered, um, particularly inside. I'll probably come back on the inside and just add some of the uh, papers from that. But uh, back here, I already know <coughs> with that other bee journal, I did a lot of layering of the laces and old doilies. So um, thinking in terms of like the Amity uh, Bloom style, something along those lines is, is what I'm thinking on this, but they may be the flips on the inside rather than out, but we'll see. <laughs> As it goes along, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to run it to, through the machine, doing a tight, tight zigzag along the edge so there's no chance of that unraveling, and then uh, when I get back, we will trim this down. Okay guys, I've realized I better trim this down first because I want to make sure I get the stitching um, on the other side. So I'm just going to trim this down and I'm hoping I'll have enough to make a little pocket on the back with this. Um, with the piece that's got that that really pretty um, trim down it. I'm hoping I got enough with that. So we still haven't had our car boots or markets um, given the go ahead to open. I'm so, so hoping that we will get that soon because I love browsing and finding um, these sort of uh, remnants. Sometimes there will be ladies who have the old um, wallpaper sample books for sale and all that kind of stuff, so I'm really ready. I'm ready to get back out and replenish. <laughs> um, I'm not going to buy a lot because, you know, it's it just, but if I think, if I could just get enough, you know, for how long I think I'm going to be able to, um, get through it. I'll just, I won't go crazy this, this time. Uh, remind me that I said that. But it is fun. I really enjoy getting out and uh, going to the car boot and the flea market in particular. Oh, that flea market is just fabulous. Although, even last year, we missed out on all the people from, uh, France and things. Yeah, I think I've got enough, although that has ripped there, but I'm going to see if I can somehow fix that and make use of it. Uh, okay, so I will be back after this is done. Okay, guys, let me grab my coffee here, and you can see how that looks now. Got the zigzag stitch on it. Um, okay, so on the spine here, this was where one of the um, it had already been scored on that envelope. So I I've got to <coughs> reinforce that because that's a bit floppy. So I've, what I've done is I've just measured that, and I'm just going to add one, maybe two additional pieces of uh, the cardboard. And that will strengthen that. And then I'm already thinking I'm going to do a hidden spine to add the um, one or two signatures. I still haven't figured out. And I will know very soon if I'm going to do one or two because I, I, I've got to allow enough room on these um, the elements that I'm going to put in the front and the back of this journal and how much space those are going to take up. So I'm just 
going to give that time to dry completely. And then just thinking through, because that's going to reinforce that now. You can see it's, it's not trying to flop back on that score line. So I'm liking that. I think that's going to be a really pretty cover for that. Uh, I need to come up with a way to make a pocket out of this because I love this. I just think it's so pretty. So I'm probably going to have to do some layering and tweak that and get the pocket on there. The closure. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that closure. I may put the sari under the elements and then that would close it or I may just have it just loose to cover is kind of what I'm leaning towards. So all these things, you know, this is this is what I have to go through and start thinking through because if you get something down, uh, I don't want to end up saying, oh, I wish I would have got those saris glued first. So this, I don't know why that hasn't glued stuck there. Yes, okay, so I'm going to now turn off the camera. I'm going to give this time to get completely glued, and then if we need to, we'll, I'll show you if I add another strip to this. Um, because if I do the hidden spine, that's going to be fabric over this, which I would need to do first, and then I could start building the elements. So I think what I'll do, guys, is shut the camera off. I'm going to get my signature ready, and then I can decide if I'm going to go with one or two. And then that is going to tell me how how much room that's going to give me in here. Because I don't, I don't really like my journals to be gator-mouthed um, too much. And so I want to make sure I've got plenty of room. Okay, so what I will do is shut it off. I'm going to get my papers chosen for this journal. Everything cut down. And that way you can see the signature before I sew it in. And then we'll talk about the next step. So I will be back.